The MACD histogram can take you hours to build, unless you watch this video to see how. Let's check it out. The MACD histogram is one of the really popular pieces of information that traders love to use when it comes to trading boards. Well, in this episode, I'm going to show you how easy it is to get that information and plug it straight into your MetaTrader 5 Expert Advisor. You don't want to miss this episode, so let's check it out. Now there's a couple of things that you need in order to complete this episode. Firstly, I really recommend that you take some time to get a basic MetaTrader 5 Expert Advisor up and running. On my GitHub video, you'll be able to see all of the examples that I provide to people for free. And that includes this one here. So if that's gonna help you, head on over and check it out. Secondly, I really recommend you have MetaTrader 5 Terminal open and running right beside you. Not only can that be lots of fun, but it'll really help you to know if what you're building is actually working. Once you've got those things, Let's get into the code. You can see here I've already got my basic functions set up and ready to go on init, on dnit, and on tick. Now we're going to be adding in our MACD histogram zero cross. We'll start by adding in some input parameters. We'll add in our fast EMA, our slow EMA, and our signal EMA. The next thing we'll be doing is starting to build our function. So let's get that going. This will be returning a string and it's going to be returning one of three values. There'll be no cross or above zero or below zero, the three options that it could possibly be. As with all of these functions, we'll start by creating a buffer. Convert it into an array. Create a handle. And then we'll add in our fast EMA, slow EMA, signal EMA, and we'll be setting it to be on the price close, which is the closing price of that candle. These values here, underscore symbol and underscore period, basically means it'll work on whatever chart you attach it to in your MetaTrader 5 terminal. We want to check that the handle is valid. And if it isn't, we're just going to return an invalid MACD handle. I'm going to copy the buffer. I'm going to get three values back. Now we're going to get into calculating whether or not it's a zero cross, which is pretty cool. So here we go, calculate. To do that, we get the previous MACD signal. second previous okay, which is the two values back now we calculate whether or not there was a cross so we check if the second previous map D is 
cost less than zero. It's less than zero. Oops, we don't want all of that. And if it is, then we want to check if the current one or the <clears throat> the last close, I should say, is above zero. And if it is, we return above. If we wanted to get a little bit fancy, you could add in a little print signal here. So print message. Great. Otherwise, if it was below zero and then the next one is still below zero, then that's not a cross. So we will return no cross. We do something similar for if it's above zero. So check if the previous MACD histogram is greater than zero. And thank you GitHub Copilot for auto-completing that for me. Let's see if it got it right. So we check if the second previous MACD is above zero. If it is, then we want to check that the most recent close is below zero. If it is, then we have a zero cross detected below zero. And if it isn't, we get no cross. And of course, the default value for all of this is no cross. So let's do that. Great. So, so far we can detect a zero cross. Let's add it into our trading bot for each tick. We'll compile it, make sure that it works. Great news, no issues. Let's go across to our terminal, get rid of this. I'll refresh my YouTube presentations. Here's my MACD histogram zero cross.